It has been called the most important 26 seconds of film ever recorded. A Dallas dressmaker captured the 1963 assassination of President John F. Kennedy in horrific detail. Now, his granddaughter sharing the story behind the lens. Jan Crawford is at the museum in Washington with the short film that shaped how the world sees news unfold. Jan, good morning. Well, good morning. So, you know, there are examples here of regular people uh, recording key moments in our nation's history, but Abraham Zapruder was really the first citizen journalist. And his granddaughter uh, told us that that film was an accident of fate, but it shaped a nation and the Zapruder family. President Kennedy at Dallas Airport this morning uh, was cheerful and waving. It had been quite a triumphal tour. In an instant, you see the entire course of history changed. Three shots were fired at President Kennedy's motorcade. 486 frames, a home movie that showed the shooting of a president from beginning to end. President Kennedy died at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. The Zapruder film was the first of its kind. It broke every barrier. Alexandra Zapruder grew up with it. Her grandfather, Abraham, a Dallas dressmaker and Russian immigrant who loved making home movies, wanted to record the president's visit for his wife and children. With an 8 millimeter camera, he stood on this concrete ledge on the grassy knoll. When he saw the limousines coming around the corner, he began filming. He was the eyes for America onto that horrible day. That's right. And I think the film, in many ways, the film is really America's memory of this event. But the story of the Zapruder film is far more than those 26 seconds of video, as Alexandra Zapruder recounts in her new book. You have the film in your camera. We'll try yes, to I brought it on the studio. And Within we'll hours, her grandfather was thrust in front of the camera and into a media storm. And I saw his head practically open up, all blood and everything, and I kept on shooting. The government took copies of the film but left Zapruder with the original. He wanted the film to be protected out of respect for the Kennedys, so he entrusted it to Life magazine. After Life agreed, it shouldn't be sensationalized. Their interest was actually in protecting the American people and protecting the Kennedys, which in today's world seems completely unfathomable. Nobody protects anybody. The whole concept of privacy is, is practically um, obsolete. For the next 12 years, life kept the original under wraps. If you're at all queasy, uh, then don't watch this film. Just but in 1975, need, uh, Geraldo Rivera aired a bootleg uh, copy. It's the most horrifying thing I've ever seen in the movie. Keeping it from the public fueled conspiracy theories that the government had something to hide. The film wasn't shown as a film to the American people for 12 years. Now, it wouldn't be 12 seconds before it was up on YouTube. That's the other part of the story that's so fascinating is the, is the story of technology, changing technology. We talked to Zapruder in a museum gallery where you can see how technology has evolved and affected journalism. Your grandfather, I mean, he was kind of the first citizen journalist. He in was. A way. I think a lot about the Black Lives Matter movement and the use of the cell phone as a way to record something. It's a form of resistance. It's become something even more powerful. But still, the Zapruder film carries with it its own power. By accident or fate, it changed how we saw the world. It's the story of how life turns in an instant. You know, here's this beautiful couple riding down the street. Smiling. On a Jackie sunny day. Jackie looks so beautiful. And then in a matter of seconds, it's over. And everything is over. Everything is different. Their lives changed. My grandfather's life changed. The culture changed. The society changed. America. The political climate. America, the world. Everything changed. And there it is on film. 26 seconds. 26 seconds. And that is what is so powerful about the film, which of course is also extremely valuable in 1999. Uh, the government agreed to pay the Zapruder family $16 million. It now will be preserved in the National Archives. And you know, if you just do a quick search on the internet, you can find that film. Uh, it is almost, I think, inconceivable to think that today, a video like that could be kept out of the public view for so long. Gail? Yeah. Wow. Alexandra's right, yeah. that would never happen today. It would no. not be kept secret for privacy. Thank you, Jan. Yeah, I'm reminded to Clint Hill, who was the Secret Service agent who climbed on the car, blamed himself. Yeah, they not he thought he didn't do enough. enough. And it oh. traumatized his life for a long time. So. It's a big piece of our history.